Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you how to make an easy chicken chile relleno casserole. So if you want to learn how to make it, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so here I already have all of my ingredients. As always, they will be listed in the description box. So with that being said, let's begin cooking. We're going to begin by roasting our chile poblanos. Once our chiles are nice and roasted all around, we're going to remove them from the heat, cover them, and allow them to sweat. Okay, so while we wait for our chiles to sweat, we're going to prepare our filling. To our skillet over high heat, we're going to heat up a little bit of oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, add half an onion, one chile serrano, and two minced garlic cloves. Going to saute for three minutes. After three minutes, add one pound and a half of diced chicken. And I'm going to be seasoning with this seasoning. Mix it together and allow it to cook for five minutes. After five minutes, add two hatch peppers and one Roma tomato. Mix it in and allow it to cook for another two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, our filling is done. So now we're just going to set it to the side and get ready to peel our chiles. Okay, remove the stem and the seeds. So just create a little slit, open it, and repeat. Okay, so once we have our chiles and filling, now we can get ready to make our batter to put our casserole together. So at this point, put your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, to your mixing bowl, add the egg whites of six eggs. Now we're going to be mixing until they're nice and stiff. Okay, so after about four minutes, our eggs should be ready. And you're going to know that they're done once you flip over your bowl and they don't tip down. So now we're ready to add the rest of our ingredients, which are the egg yolks, one teaspoon of salt, baking powder, and half a teaspoon of black pepper, one third of all-purpose flour, and one fourth of a cup of heavy cream. Now we're going to mix on low speed until everything is well combined. Okay, and just like that we have our batter. So now we can get ready to make our casserole. Okay, so I'm going to begin by lightly greasing my baking dish. Okay, so now we're going to add half of the batter. And just make sure that it's nice and even. Now we're going to grab our chile poblanos and cover the bottom layer. Now I'm going to be adding my queso Oaxaca at the chicken. Okay, I'm going to add another layer of our chile poblanos at the rest of our batter. Make sure to even it out. Okay, so now I'm going to top it with some more cheese. I'm going to be adding some hatch roasted peppers on top. Okay, now to the oven it goes for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, so while we wait for our chile relleno casserole, we're going to make a quick salsa. So I already boiled four Roma tomatoes. I'm just going to throw them into the blender, as well as five chile puyas, two chile moritas, a piece of onion, one garlic clove, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, salt to taste, and we're going to be blending with a little bit of water. Now blend until smooth. Okay, so as we have that, we're going to take it to the stove and lightly fry it. Okay, so I already have my saucepan over medium heat. Just going to heat up a little bit of oil. Okay, once it's nice and hot, we're going to add our sauce. Just going to add a little bit more water to my blender cup. Okay, now we're just going to bring it to a simmer. Okay, once it comes to a simmer, taste it for salt and see if you need to adjust it. For me, this is perfect, so just like that, we have our sauce. Okay, so after 45 minutes, our chile relleno casserole is done. So we're just going to allow it to cool down for a few minutes before we get and cut into it. Okay, and scoop it out. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I am so ready. I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super easy to make. It's perfect if you don't like to fry your chile rellenos. And let me tell you that with the sauce and the combination of the chicken and everything, it's honestly the best. So I am so ready. Hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. Seriously, the best. It's so flavorful. Fluffy. Cheesy, so good. Mm. And like I said, the, the sauce and the chicken, perfect combination. Alrighty guys, and there you have it and how I made my super easy and delicious chicken chile relleno casserole. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.